Did you know the United States Mint strikes coins in pure platinum? Well, they do, and they have since 1997. I'm Chuck Woolery, and welcome to In Conversation. This week, former directors of the United States Mint, Philip Deal and Ed Moy, discussed the release of America's first platinum coin and how that helped turn things around at the Mint. So we were talking about the trillion dollar coin and where the legislation was um, uh, flexible enough <laughs> yes. to be able to uh, at least even contemplate that yes. now. Yeah. Uh, but that flexibility uh, also uh, pertains to design of the coin. Yes. Most of the time when Congress passes legislation, they're very specific. Yes. We want this, we want it that size and yes. so on. But in this case with the uh, platinum bullion coin, uh, Congress was silent on it, uh, yes. but yet the uh, design of the Statue of Liberty ended up being on that. That was done under your tenure? Yes. There's probably a story behind that. Yes, there is. I mean, uh, we wanted to demonstrate that we could compete in the international market mm -hmm. and seize a, uh, a significant yeah, market. Royal Canadian Mint was the dominant one yes. in platinum at that yes. time. Yeah, right? th that's right. And. The two platinum markets were the really North America and Japan. Mm -hmm. So we knew we'd pick most of the North American market when the coin came out, but to establish our dominance, we needed to take the Japanese market. Mm -hmm. So the sort of the unique aspect of this coin, in fact, it had, this is the first time it ever happened in American coinage history is when I went to Congress, I told them that. This is, this is Mike Castle again. And I told them that this is what I want to do. And what I intend to do is go over and have the uh, patriarch of a family that really dominated the Japanese distribution oh, market and engage him in a way of a show of respect in the selection of the design. Mm -hmm. I knew in the end he would, it, you know, it was a formality that he wouldn't have an impact on the design, but I wanted to engage him in it. So I had explained this to Michael Castle and said, I want to have complete flexibility in how we design the, one of the amazing things is there's no mandate about what the inscriptions are mm -hmm. on the coin. Mm -hmm. There's no requirement to put in God we trust on it. Mm -hmm. You know, we were not we were smart enough to know that yeah. you know you put in God we trust on the coin. Mm -hmm. uh, and but there were it, it's a remarkable piece of legislation because it's like two sentences mm -hmm. that uh, give us this kind of flexibility. So we knew, of course, that the Statue of Liberty was the iconic image. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to do something different. Rather than showing her in full body, mm -hmm. we wanted to show that fantastic face with mm -hmm. the crown. Yep. And how, and it's a fabulous design. And I didn't come up with it. <laughs> you, know, the, you know how that is, yep. the engravers did. But that yep. was the concept. Mm -hmm. And then I went over to Japan and I met with him. And we had dinner together. And just the act of showing him the design. Yep. Means so much in Japanese culture. Yes, yep. and it's all about the relationship. Mm -hmm. And I knew this, and I wanted to establish that relationship. And we did, and we went back and produced it, and uh, you know, within six months of launching that coin, we had taken 60 to 70% of the market. And I didn't have very many friends at the Canadian Man after that. <laughs> but, um, you know, and, but yes. that led to our ability, the trust that Mike Castle had that we knew what we were mm -hmm. doing and led directly to the 50 State Quarters Program. Mm -hmm. Yep, that also paved the way for the um, a remaking of the 2009 Ultra High Relief mm -hmm. Double Eagle mm -hmm. because uh, you established this credibility so when uh, Mike Castle again sponsored legislation uh, to create the um, the 24 karat American yeah. Buffalo program, mm -hmm. uh, as part of that, the legislation said that we had to use uh, James Earl Fraser's Buffalo mm -hmm. uh, nickel design mm -hmm. uh, for the first year. But after that, uh, we could uh, design it uh, with any design we wanted. Yeah. 
And from my perspective, uh, just like the platinum coin, uh, bullion coins uh, should be easily recognizable. So I really wanted to keep uh, the Buffalo design on it. But I used the flexibility that mm -hmm. kind of came from the trust that you built uh, to design the, uh, to use it for the ultra high relief. So the ultra high relief is not the same diameter. Mm. It's, uh, it's a uh, Eagle Planchet doubled, mm. uh, which was the, uh, one of the original concepts that St. Collins was working with. And, uh, but instead of just doing it, I went up to Congress uh, and said, uh, you put this in the authority, I just want to let you know <laughs> that I plan on exercising it and this is what we're going to do with it. Yes. And it, they basically said, this is a judicious use of, of that. <laughs> you don't need our permission, but you know, we're not going to object. Yes, that, that's so important to, you know, to show the respect mm -hmm. and to make the contacts that really build on that relationship. Mm -hmm. And it's really a matter of trust. And mm -hmm. this, is, this is what, this was my philosophy at the United States Met and my philosophy in dealing with Congress was this is about trust mm -hmm. and building trust and showing respect to people who are in important positions of authority. Mm -hmm. And that in those days, in our days, yeah. went a long way. Yeah. It's very hard to do that now across party oh, lines. I don't think you and I could get unanimously confirmed today. Yeah, it meant, that's yeah. exactly mm -hmm. right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. Yeah. Visit usmoneyreserve.com for more information on precious metals, coins, and precious metal IRAs. America's Gold Authority, U.S. Money Reserve, is proud to be a leading distributor of government-issued gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. For over 20 years, hundreds of thousands of clients have placed their trust in the company to help select the highest quality and most appropriate precious metals for their portfolios. So whether you're a first-time buyer or looking to expand your current portfolio, U.S. Money Reserve is committed to bringing you a superior customer experience. I'm Chuck Woolery. Thank you for watching In Conversation.